And there were faith leaders from a variety of religions here at the State House this morning. It was a solemn morning as they honored the victims of last year's Lewiston shootings. They read the names of all 18 of the victims who lost their lives, as well as the names of those who were injured. And they even mentioned Robert Card by name, saying a prayer for his family. The sentiment of the vigil, though, was strong. We will move forward and we are not afraid. Event organizers say it's important to remind everyone affected by this tragedy that we will not forget. It's important to know that just because it's been a year ago, that the grief is still very much there. It's, it goes underground. You know, that's what we do when we have tragedies, it goes underground. Um, but it's also important to remember that this happened because if we don't remember together, then it, we kind of get numb to it. And to remember that the, the families are still grieving, the friends are still grieving, and we can go on with our lives, but they're not. There were a handful of state lawmakers that were in attendance for this morning's vigil. Governor Mills is not available to attend, but her team um, provided a statement and support uh, for the vigil. Live in Augusta, I'm Jackie Mundry for Maine's Total Coverage.